In this tip of the week, we will look at how to set up your gradebook through assignment creation. The gradebook is populated automatically when you create an assignment. There are a few ways to create assignments in my classes. First, click on the assignment link from the course navigation menu. Click to add a new assignment. Enter assignment details and save or save and publish the assignment. Another assignment type is a graded quiz or survey. To create a graded quiz or survey, click on quizzes from the course navigation menu. Click to add a new quiz. Enter quiz details. Add or create questions. And save or save and publish your quiz. You can also create a graded discussion by clicking the discussions link from the course navigation menu, clicking add discussion, add discussion details, and check the box to make the discussion graded. Then save or save and publish your discussion. If you are using graded content created in another software, you can also upload SCORM packaged content that will automatically create an assignment for you. To create SCORM packaged assignments, go to Settings, Navigation, Enable the SCORM tool, click the SCORM link on the course navigation menu, and upload your already existing assignment. Select whether you want it to be a graded or ungraded assignment. All of these assignment types will show up on the assignments page under a group called assignments. You may notice that different assignments have different symbols identifying which assignment type they are, discussions, quizzes, and assignments or SCORM imported assignments. You may also notice that there is a mix of published and unpublished assignments. Remember, Published assignments are available to students, and unpublished assignments are not visible to students. Assignment columns are automatically added to the gradebook every time you create an assignment. The columns generate from left to right based on the order that they are created in. However, you can rearrange the assignments in the gradebook by clicking and dragging them. Gradebook columns are persistent, meaning that the columns will stay in the order that they are arranged. Assignments will default to a main assignment group. You may choose to add more assignment groups for one of two reasons, to drop the lowest grade for a particular type of assignment or to weight your grade instead of using points. Click the Add Group button to create assignment groupings and press Save when you're done. You can then move already created assignments into the appropriate assignment group by clicking and dragging or by clicking the assignment settings menu and clicking move to from the drop down menu to select the assignment group you want to move it to. Your assignments are now reorganized on the assignments page, but you'll notice that they did not change in your gradebook. As I said, gradebook columns are persistent. However, you will notice additional columns in the gradebook that align with the assignment groups that you created. This does not mean that the totals are weighted unless you've selected to do so. If you want to weight the percentages in the gradebook, go to the Assignments tab and click on the Assignment Settings icon. Then click Assignment Groups Weight. Check the box to weight final grade based on assignment groups. You will have the option to enter the percentages as desired. Press Save. You can always go back to Assignment Groups Weight and check the box to remove weighted assignments. Your gradebook will now, once again, calculate to points. Now that you have assignment groups, if you want to drop the lowest score, you can click on the Assignment Group Settings icon, click Edit, and select the number of scores to ignore from each student. In this case, we'll select one of the lowest scores. However, if you have an assignment in that group that you do not want to be dropped, 
you can always exclude an assignment from being ignored. You will see that there is a new rule set in the assignment group details that indicates it will drop the lowest score, but never drop the assignment that you select. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following guides.